sturgeon are here in great numbers to spawn at that little reef and the problem is there's not enough room on the reef for all of them. This location was chosen for the speed of the water. Goals of the project are to put nine spawning beds in the river. They'll span the channel. By comparing what we have beforehand with what we have after we construct it, that's what we're basing the results on. Goals of the project are to put um, nine spawning beds in the river to attract fish that are, they're called broadcast spawners, basically for native species restoration. Lake whitefish, lake sturgeon, uh, walleye, in particular those three, but probably another dozen or so species will use it. Relative to where the reef is being constructed, it's right at the upper end of the delta. It's, it's in close proximity to very good uh, real estate for lake sturgeon as well as these other species that are of importance. We've narrowed down the types of material we're using. So we're down to a uh, rounded field stone for one set, sort of one treatment for one type of reef. Another type of reef is broken limestone like comes out of a quarry. So it's got more angular uh, edges to it, uh, four to eight inches in size. And then the third treatments are being three different treatments. The third treatment is a combination of those two stones. We expect to get success here immediately with lake sturgeon. So what we want to do is treat enough uh, space or enough areas in the river so that we have a really robust, self-sustained population of lake sturgeon, of whitefish, walleye.